I have uh, just a few acknowledgments and some thank yous to make. Um, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So we have a couple special guests who are joining us tonight. Uh, is Annalise Crawford here? Annalise? Uh, if you don't mind standing, she is an ODWL alum. We really, uh, ODWL and Corporate Training and Development were two programs that were housed within the uh, Masters in Education, and we're always happy to have uh, alums from those two programs come and join us and be part of the MSLSC community, so welcome. <laughs> the last uh, group that I want to acknowledge as our special guests are uh, the support system. So I know that we've got quite a few husbands, boyfriends, wives, um, girlfriends, aunties, best friends, whatever, who are joining some of our uh, students and alums here tonight. And these are the people who walked the dog and took out the trash and gave the moral support and helped with all of the, uh, uh, everything that was going on while they were so busy, while their, their uh, beloved one was so busy trying to make this degree uh, get happen. And then... Um, <clears throat> And, and happen without too much craziness. So definitely want to appreciate the support system here and glad you're here with us this evening. We want to acknowledge, we're thrilled, we've got quite a number of faculty joining us tonight. So if you are one of our faculty members past and present, would you stand up? Thank you. So we have um, Sandy Sh Sandy Schwan, Jeannie Olson, Kathleen O'Connor, Kevin Murnane, Cecilia Barocas, Marina Macari, Dory Blessoff. Who else sat down here and I didn't get a chance to acknowledge them? Jill Wachholz, and then Susan Barrett Kelly, Mike Kosierik, and Debbie Flager. Anybody else I missed? All right, we always love it when our faculty show up. A lot of those faculty actually are alums, too, so I think that's something else that makes our program really unique. Um, and we have some alums here tonight who can claim some first. I think Jeannie already mentioned a couple of them. Andrea Spudich. Andrea, where are you? Andrea was actually MSLSC's very first student. She was enrolled in a class. She was the only person in the class, actually, <laughs> in the fall of 2001. So I want to just do some quick thanks, first of all, to all our speakers tonight for showing up, preparing, thinking, and then coming in here and uh, entertaining all of us. So thank you to our speakers. Uh, I want to thank Jason Becker for his incredibly generous gift of Remember.com. It's amazing. Now that this 10th anniversary has sort of all come together, I literally cannot imagine uh, our 10th anniversary happening without the Remember.com social media tool is sort of the jewel in our 10th anniversary crown. So thank you so much, Jason. Uh, thank you to Leslie Berger, who is in LA and opened up her home in Santa Monica for all of her LA alums and student colleagues. They're there having a regional party tonight, and we're hoping to check in with them later on. Uh, thanks to the Allen Center professionals. I tell you what, it is so great to have a, a facility where they know what they're doing because they made life a lot easier for us. Um, the student staffers were amazing. Uh, Graham, you'll see his hand, handiwork tonight in the slideshow. Uh, Jessica is our photographer in the panda suit. Uh, quick quick about Jessica, I thought I was really going to have to work on her to encourage her to wear the panda suit, and I, I, didn't even, I barely got out, and she said, yes, I will wear it. So she's our photographer tonight at the photo booth, so you have to look for the, the, for the woman in the panda suit. But I really want to thank the creative team, and that was Leslie and Keeley, Jessica and Lauren Smith from Catalyst Ranch. Um, for their logistical mojo, as you might imagine, they're doing all the behind the scenes, everything from you know, monitoring the RSVPs, making all that happen. Keeley put in enormous hours to get that 10th anniversary Google site up and running, all the emails that you got from her. But I think the thing I'd really want to thank them most is this sort of the ownership and sustained creative energy they poured into this process around just deciding at the very beginning they wanted to make it the best experience possible for all of you. So thanks to them. 